So today we're fishing on the Stardust out of Santa Barbara. I'm going after rockfish, whitefish, sheephead, and if I'm lucky, link cod. I know I just went out a few days ago. This is my second trip this week, and hoping this time I might hook on to some more whitefish and uh, sheephead. The counts aren't so good lately. The Stardust hasn't been doing that well. They haven't limited yesterday, and they haven't limited the day before yesterday. So hopefully they turn things around today and tomorrow. Um, I'm fishing with my friend Daniel here. He, uh, you've seen him in other videos like the Bonita video and the Calico Bass video on the Victory. So before we get to the landing, leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm be posting YouTube videos throughout the whole year. I'm aiming to get a thousand by the end of this year. So if you haven't already, subscribe. It'll help me a lot. So let's get to the landing. So we're finally on to the landing. Finally woke up from the motel. It's right now, now 6. And we're gonna get there at 6.18. So still got a few minutes to go before we get to the landing and onto the boat. How did you sleep last night? I slept okay. <laughs> it, was a, it was not bad, right? Yeah, it wasn't bad. I mean, we did find a baby cockroach. So it's like I was, I was gonna say like Motel Six is like known for having cockroaches and, and like it's not being that dirty. Bad. For the, one, like, the one before we went on to the, the one before we went to was way worse. Yeah, we switched to a different motel. The original motel we chose uh, smelled like cigarettes. Like it wasn't just like one like a one like time a, like a little smell of cigarette. It was like really strong. But we made it. Excellent. Finally at sea landing. There's no more parking spaces. We came a little bit too late, but we finally made it. Big red, big red. Hey, wait. I got you, I got you. Let go, let go, let go. Big red. Give me five. fish but I left it down there hoping hoping I have two oh, got some I have tangle with someone Are you on, Daniel? Oh, no. Really?
Sundap. Jackpot salmon grouper. You see that? Wow. Jackpot salmon grouper. If you put it up to the camera, it looks huge. I got I got bit on the wind up. Oh no, this is a double. All that time. Eating the Mega Mouth here. While they're cleaning fish. Good burger. So I know this was a shorter video than I normally do. There just wasn't enough content for me to cover. I didn't want to post a 30 minute long video because the quality was just meh. I mean, we did limits, so fishing was okay. Way better than what you would get down south. Like it's in like the LA area, you would normally not limit in the LA area. You would probably get like seven rockfish and maybe not limits of red. So. We had five reds, five rockfish, so limit on red. So that was that was pretty that was pretty good fishing. Uh, wasn't the quality I got on the coral sea. The coral sea was just a totally different day. We had good quality and good volume. I'm talking about every single drop. When you drop down, you're catching giants, and within five seconds, it was instant. Today was a little bit different. It was more normal rock fishing and by normal I mean you're standing on the rail more and you're just having a good time there's never a bad day on the water in the future though I think I'd be fishing on the coral sea if I have the opportunity to the coral sea has bunks you have a fish hold and I think the crew is a bit nicer on the coral sea but not throw any shade on the stardust the stardust the crew they've got me out of a lot of tangles today as you can see they're very helpful you got any questions there well, they'll answer so not to throw shade on the stardust because the stardust is a really neat operation but in the future i think i'd fish on the coral sea so thanks for watching this video i know it's a bit different from what i normally post but it's a video so see you in the next video maybe calico bass bonita maybe pier i don't know so take care guys